Hey, what's up guys? Atlas Zero here, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make Saitama the One Punch Man in Jump Force. So there's a lot of characters in Jump Force that we would like, but we do not have. So this is an alternative to getting some of the characters that we want. If you end up liking this video, guys, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And if you're new, consider subscribing. And if you want to see me do more videos like this where I make different characters that we want in Jump Force, let me know in the comments, especially if there's a particular character that you would like to see. So for Saitama, I'm going to start off with Type A because of martial arts fighting style. And then for the body, uh, Saitama isn't really like huge, huge, huge. But definitely I want to get a little bit of paler skin color. I'm going the wrong way. Alright, I think that's that's probably pretty close. Um, let's go to hairstyle. That's easy. He has no hair. Well, I should have went I went the wrong way, but that's fine. We'll go to the baldness right here. Uh, for eyebrows, let's see. I wanna say his eyebrows are more kind of like this. Well, maybe not as yeah, not as turned up like that. And for eyebrow color, we're just gonna leave it black. And for ears. I'm just kind of go with these because they're not too big. They're more normal size. And for the eyes, we're looking for more kind of serious type looking eyes. Nothing too big, but nothing too squinty. See, that's a little bit too squinty. Those are a little bit too big. Uh, I think those are probably just about perfect. And then let's see about the pupils. His pupils aren't really that big. Uh, most anime characters, it depends. It really depends on the anime. Some artists draw them a lot bigger, but definitely Saitama's eyes are black for sure. Uh, and let's go with the left pupil. We'll go to the set do this exact same thing on this side And for the nose his nose really isn't big. I don't I'm not looking for a big nose I'm looking for like a normal nose, which is kind of hard to tell ant noses on certain and on some anime characters Depending on the anime like I said some artists are completely different now here is something we really need to look at His jaw is more pointy. It's definitely not flushed out like that one is that like the more narrower jaw, I want to say? I'm trying to get a good little... Yeah, that was probably the most more narrow jaw. I think that's probably Saitama's. And then for feature, Saitama didn't really have much features. All right, now for voice. I'm not exactly sure what his anime voice is. But voice too sounds like it would fit Saitama to me. So let's go and let's name him. Saitama. There we go. And let's see what kind of clothes we can find for him. All right, now as far as outfits go, there's like two variations that I know of, and I'll show both variations. First one, we'll give him the cape. We'll give him like Piccolo's type clothing. Let's see where, is it, where that's at. There we go, this one. Which this one kind of looks, I don't care for this one too much because his arms are showing. I'd rather a, a little bit longer sleeves. Now for pants, I'm going to go with these. You could use almost any variation of the yellow pants, uh, but some of them are a little bit different color yellow. It depends on if it bothers you, if they really match or not. But I'm going to go with these right here just because they match a little bit better. Now, remember, this is just the first outfit I'm making for him. There's another one that I think is a little bit more cooler. All right, as for hands, I'm going to go with these red gloves. And then feet, we have these. I think these might be, yeah, these are the right boots. And as far as special and other accessories, Saitama doesn't really carry many accessories. So now let's go on to the next outfit, which I think is much cooler looking. For top, we're going to go with, he doesn't have a cape, but we're going to go with Trunks's yellow top. For bottoms, we're going to go with these pants, which they match the color a little bit better. And for hands, as you can see, we still keep our gloves out. Some different costumes take away the gloves, but I'm going to keep these same gloves and these same boots on. As you can see, it's pretty unfortunate we don't have like a cape as an accessory we can just put on. But I believe this outfit looks best for Saitama. It just looks cooler than the Piccolo outfit one. So let's check out move sets that I like. Now as for move sets, I'm going to go and start with the Meteor Combination just because of all the blows it's dealt, especially when Saitama... When he actually does, you'll see right here, the fist right in the face. That speaks one punch to me very well. Also, another one. We'll go Detroit Smash because it's such a great fist move right there. I'm trying to find things that really bring a lot of fist moves out. Now, for the next one, I like to put a good dash move in all my characters. Because a good dash move, if you use it correctly, you can really do some damage. So, we're going to go Yu Yu Hakusho's You Think You're Invincible. I mean, he just grabs them and... Really hits him, then just throws him on the ground. I just think Saitama a lot when I see that. And also, for the ultimate, 
you got to have this one from uh what's what's this one fist of the north star battle grief what says the one punch man more than a bunch of punches i know it's kind of a bunch of punches versus one punch but just the amount of punches i wish we had a nice one punch move in this uh game but unfortunately we're limited in jump force so that's the move set i have guys so i hope you all enjoyed this video if y'all like the site time build remember to hit that hit that like button and subscribe for me also let me know in the comments if there's more builds like this that you would like to see thanks for watching and god bless you